and in the um, earlier and the written, you know, in, in the, the, the written correspondence that we've had talking about the, the mining, the Bitcoin mining mm -hmm. um, and the energy crisis that that uh, that is there. Um, I don't know, maybe give a, just a brief comment on on, you know, then that that applica application to that to the mining uh, issues um if you thought about it more uh um not thought about it too much I, a lot of people ask me about mining you know or can you yeah. do something you know that's going to um, solve the mining <laughs> the mining problem um i think one of the biggest problems <laughs> with using a quantum computer to solve the mining problem is perhaps the under the current regime is the proof of work because mm -hmm. machines like what we're building can't it's not evident how it arrived at the answer yeah <laughs> so, yeah yeah so how, how do you put for work for something that you don't know how it works it out you just said this is it this is the answer <laughs> yeah yeah that's a good point yeah i don't care about your proof of work you know so maybe that's an outdated sort of thing um but yeah, there's a lot of talk about the hash break, you know, I was just looking at right, right. The, the bullet points that we spoke about, which I think, you know, is relevant, but it's not going to be where the battlefield in crypto is, I don't think, anytime soon. And there are, mm -hmm. num there are numerous scientific and you know, research papers on, on ways to make the resilience harder um, or, or or even the actual model of the, the distribute, let's call it just a blockchain or a distributed ledger rather than Bitcoin or whatever right. it is, um, that there's no air miles in perhaps breaking the hash for, for whatever, that, you know, there's mm -hmm. fundamental design securities within the model itself that mean that it's pointless doing yeah. all this work to try and break things. Um, I did mention, I thought, I mean, it does, it does get on my nerves, the, the, the entire waste of energy, it's ridiculous, yeah. Yeah. it's bonkers, and it's for nothing, yeah. it's nothing other than vanity, and it just doesn't make any, any, any sense to me whatsoever. Um, but perhaps I think maybe things like quantum key, you know, crypt key distribution, which is this ability to teleport quantum information, which you probably heard about, mm -hmm. so you, know, you can take a quantum state, like a photon and split yeah. it and send half the photon some you know this photon over there and that right. photon over there and then you've got this um link across time and space and if you make this photon go that way that one goes that way and therefore yeah. you've got this so yeah kind of, and if this collapses you know it's been intercepted and you can abort the transaction so maybe that there would be a more point-to-point -point way of mm verifying that, that an asset has been been transferred but i've got to i've got to admit i am giving it too much thought although we have been we have been looking at um some kind of co process technology for for prime number factorization we did mm -hmm. did have and are making some progress on that um but really at the moment our um, focus is more on um on, on quantum uh, analogs for, for particular mathematical sort of problems that our own algorithms present and we design we design them on purpose so that we when when you put information into our neural networks it's encoded in such a way that it actually takes work to put it in there so it's, it takes a little bit longer to put stuff into our system but once you've put it in what you can do with it is quite quite clever um but there's a computational power is actually encoded into the memory itself so it's what you'd call in memory processing um and i, I think that's really where the future of quantum will go in the in the mid term and it's going to need to go in the future it is developing uh, true quantum memory architectures with things like in memory um computation which basically means that you know the memory is both the storage and the mechanism to retrieve it in 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 this reversible fashion without any use of energy um and that's that that's where i'm focused yeah for for, for the future um but uh, so I, 
it's possible that that quantum computing, you know, in the, maybe in the next ten years, would obsolete the need for hashing in the first mm -hmm. place. Maybe, mm -hmm. possibly, mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, to deliver a. Why do I need a blockchain to prove something when something can only exist in one place in one time? can be transferred and authenticated at source kind of thing. So almost like blockchain, a point of sale type of everything happens there in the quantum state and we're done and dusted. And it couldn't happen unless it was true because that's the way the universe works. It's like, I can't have the universe, you know. Sorry, your universe has been declined, so, you know. <laughs> like the steeper pin code works, you know. Um, <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Yeah, you know, maybe that that would be yeah. more, more to me is more interesting. But as I say, you've got to eat. Yeah. And it's baby steps all the way, isn't it? For, for right. Any, any company, I, I think right now we just got to deal with what we've we've got in front of us. So maybe some optimizations in in mining. You know, maybe taking mm -hmm. some, being able to um, plant the um, the ASIC rigs and target them into a range of hashes prior to starting so that the brute brute force is reduced down to a minimum. If you can sure. if you can pick a point on a map and say, well, we definitely know this hash doesn't belong down there or there or there, you know, probably here, then yeah. you could probably reduce the mining overhead by fifty percent mm. like that. So it it would be watch this space. <laughs> <laughs>